We don't like failures. We want our targets to work. We test them thoroughly before we use them. We have to make sure they work every time. From biomedical applications to nuclear astrophysics, using a complex infrastructure and cutting-edge experiments, the men and women of Isolde push forward our understanding of the universe. This is how targets are produced of Isolde. At Isolde, all physics starts with a target. When hit by a beam of protons, a target releases different sorts of isotopes through a reaction. The isotopes released depend on what chemical elements the target is made from, which means each experiment at Isolde requires a different target. We produce about 30 targets per year for a physics community of about 500 people. We do this from a combination of about 100 different types of target materials and ion sources, uh, to make beams for a physics program which runs from April through to November. To build these crucial pieces of the Isolde facility, CERN has a dedicated team with decades of experience for making targets that are able to produce the rarest isotopes. When they request a new targets, we look at what types of targets we have, so we look for the best combination of targets and ion sources for the physicists. For each experiment, they desire a certain type of isotope, and for each isotope, you need to tune on a different way. So it's really challenging because it's always new, and you always have to really think about how to optimize on the best way. And uh, this is really nice. At the moment, we can produce up to a thousand different isotopes, uh, and then we have a, a huge development program where we try and make these new beams for the users. As part of CERN's accelerator complex, protons are sent directly from the PS booster into thick targets. The protons react with the target in a fission process to produce radioactive nuclei. These then undergo a process called ionization, where one of the particles in the nuclei are removed to change their electrical charge. After they undergo this process, the ions are accelerated to even higher energies of up to 60 keV and separated out using electromagnets to produce very clean radioactive iron beams made of just one type of iron for distribution to a variety of experiments throughout the Isolde Experimental Hall. I find it quite exciting when we produce new beams. If you look at the nuclei chart, the further you go from stability, the more difficult it is to produce these beams. Sometimes we produce beams with tens of milliseconds of lifetime. So to produce those and even find new beams, I find that very rewarding. To make sure every target runs properly, strict quality controls are done before the targets are put into place. We don't like failures. We want our targets to work. We have a very demanding physics schedule and should the target fail for a vacuum leak or it does not produce the beams that we want, then the whole physics schedule is stopped or delayed for a certain amount of time. So you have mechanical uh, engineers, technicians, people that are designing the target, that are operating the targets, you have the physicists, and all those persons, they are actually managing to collaborate and to make it work. What, what was the most surprising for me the first time I went in the, in the ISOL, the um, control room, is to see all the type of problem you can have. Just when you install a target that is very simple, but there is so many different parameters, and then you can see that it's just because everybody is so passionate by their work that they make it work. The target production at Isolde doesn't really go wrong because we have so much experience, up to 50 years of experience of building targets, and we test them thoroughly before we use them. Once on the target station, they're heated to 2,000 degrees in a vacuum and, after that preparation, they are bombarded with high-energy protons. It's a very harsh environment. The targets are operated in an area we call the target area. Now, this is radioactive, and for safety reasons, we don't want to go in there to handle these targets. So, we use robots for this. These are standard industrial robots, which have been modified to make them radiation resistant. For target production, as for any other part of Isolde, further development is always the highest priority. As Isolde begins to take protons from one of CERN's new accelerators, LINAC-4, 
a potential higher energy and increase in intensity of the proton beam will open doors to a higher rate of isotope production. With the arrival of the NAC4 and an increase in proton beam energy and intensity, we have to make sure that the target can operate under harsh conditions and ensure its lifetime. With this new energy and intensity, the target production team will be challenged to build targets capable of producing ever-rarer isotopes to ensure the facility stays at the forefront.